Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Ryan with Hollywood Classic Cars and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm picking up four cars. I'm up here in extreme northeastern Iowa today and uh, we'll be loading these cars, getting them home, cleaning them up. Um, I will not be working on getting them running in this video. You will see some videos in the future. Um, but all the motors are locked up in these cars, so I'm gonna let them soak a little bit and uh, we're gonna go from there. So the first car is an original paint 1960 Pontiac two-door hardtop. It's a brown, like a copper brown color. Maybe not copper, but a little darker. But it's a brown color with a white top and this nice red interior. It's a Catalina. So it's the bottom of the barrel but it's a pretty nice survivor. It does have some rust in the floor pans and a little bit, you know, in the quarters right there with some mud, but overall it's a, it's a pretty nice original survivor car. It's been sitting in this old shed here since the eighties. The last tag is 1971. So it, it's been off the road quite a while. The motor is a 389. It's a two barrel. So I believe these were 283 or 285 horsepower behind the automatic transmission. They were 215, I believe, when they were behind a standard. It is locked up. The spark plugs have been pulled out of it. So I'm sure there's just, just some ring stickage in there. So hopefully this one we can get, we can get going again. The next car here is a 1968 Buick LeSabre convertible. Again, bottom of the barrel, but it's been in here since the late 80s or early 90s. It's uh, like a green color, all that nice barn dust with a tan interior. So not the best color combination, but again, nice original Survivor. I believe 68 was the last year the speaker grill in the rear seat. The Coons have kind of gotten the, uh, the top a little bit here. This car did drive in here and was parked. It's got just the standard engine, which is the two barrel 350, which made, I believe, 230 horsepower. And I love it because this motor, I mean, there's so much clearance between the firewall and the engine which will make it super easy to work on. So these next two cars here, I'm not buying these today, but these are 41 Buicks. This is a 41 Buick convertible. And that one is its parts car. These have been here since the seventies. They are not for sale. And if anybody asks for information, I will not be able to give it to you. The owner wants to keep all this stuff secret and I respect that. So really cool car. The taillights on these things are huge. This motor as well is locked up, but the spark plugs are in it. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's not stuck too tight. Still has the original speckled paint. A little bit of rust right here, but not, not terrible. It's just starting to kind of flake off. But overall, a really nice solid car.
All right, guys, so it's Sunday now. I just realized that I forgot to record um, two of the four cars I picked up. The other two, the, the first one was a uh, 1960 Pontiac Catalina four-door flat top, also known as a four-door hard top. Just a parts car, and then a uh, 1960 Catalina four-door sedan. So did not get those you know, on that journey. Gonna pick them up next weekend. Not a whole lot there of excitement to, to film, so I'm not going to. Um, the exciting thing though, is I have concrete finally in my building. They poured this yesterday. It's a six inch concrete with rebar every two foot. And gonna give it here about a week. Let it, uh, let it you know, cure. I'm keeping the concrete wet. And next week I'm gonna start moving cars in here. It's actually in some spots a little thicker. Cause that's, a, that's a two by six. So in some spots it's eight inches. Um, but yeah, it's a really good size. Really good size thickness and, and the building is all coming together now. So um, that bird has been flying around all day. I obviously know he can't find his way out of here, but he will. So with that, um, pretty excited about the concrete and the building, you know, the progress there. But I got the two cars unloaded, the 60 Catalina two-door hardtop and the 68 LeSabre convertible. So in this video, I'm not going to film trying to get them to run because both engines are stuck. That'll be their own videos uh, in the future here. We're gonna clean them out, power wash them, and see, uh, see what gems we can find. Man, this 60 really cleaned up nice. That rich bronze color. You can definitely tell here when it's wet. 
This car with a wet sand would look amazing, I believe. This quarter panel's got some some filler in it, but the parts car, the four-door sedan, is the same uh, same color, so you could could swap the quarter. Yeah, this one cleaned up nice, but the Buick really cleaned up nice. That rich green color it does have a little bit of body work that was done to it, but at least it doesn't look like a whole lot of filler. Just looks like primer, if anything. Those taillights are just massive. And this side really looks good. A little bit of rust in the quarter panels, which I already knew, and in the fender. But other than that, she's a really clean car. So I'm gonna grab the shop back now, and uh, let's clean both these cars out and see if we find any treasures inside. So this car has the original trunk mat, which is pretty cool. It's like a tritone red. Cleaned up pretty nice. Uh, the interior here, I'm going to degrease these uh, these door panels in a second. But the original floor mat as well is there. Uh, we do have a little bit of rust in the front toe pans as well as the rear toe pans. But I think before I degrease the door panels, I'm going to break the cardinal rule of any old survivor car. And that is I'm going to pull this front or this rear seat out and remove the, uh, remove the cover. This is the first car I've ever had that has an original seat cover on it. It's still pretty pliable, um, but I wanna see how nice that seat is. I mean, it looks beautiful underneath, and I think that's gonna definitely help help the car in its originality. Before I do that though, I'm gonna grab some soap and water, clean all the panels in here, then we'll pull this seat, and then after that, then we'll move on to the, uh, the 68 there. It's amazing to me, this car has been sitting for you know, since 71, so 50 years, and the floor pans underneath are beautiful. It still has the original sound deadening mat. I am gonna throw this away though, it's pretty gross on that side, and this holds um, mouse pee and poop, and it just doesn't smell very good, so I'm getting rid of that. But here's the uh, here's the moment of truth for everyone. I'm gonna set the camera up here, and we're gonna yank these covers off and, uh, and see what they look like. All right, so here's the seat back upper. Oh my God, that is beautiful. So on the back side here, this is also a first for me. I found a tag, 2137-310-8832. So this is probably the date, June 7th. I'm not sure what all this stuff is. I don't know if 2137 is like the uh, the style for the car. Man, a Catalina two-door hardtop. Anyways, though, it's cool that this is here. I mean, it's definitely an original seat. Um, but if you guys know these Pontiac, you know, numbers, let me know. It's cool to cool to find something like this. All right. So to recap, here is the here is the upper. Really nice seat. Now let's work on this lower one. And it's just as nice. No tears in the fabric, anything. That's a really Really nice seat as well. Oh my, oh my. She's looking good now. Got the steering wheel cleaned up. I've never seen a steering wheel that had that much mold on it. The seats cleaned up really nice. No tears in them that I can see. The back seat looks really, really good. Got the side panels cleaned up. The only fun things I found in this weren't actually really that fun. Got the coil, got an Avon perfume bottle. I'm not sure when this is from, let me know, maybe the 60s or the 70s. 
and then some kind of oil distribution thing from Storm Lake, Iowa. Other than that, the only thing I got from this thing was a clean car. So now that this old girl's cleaned up, let's move on to the 68 Buick. So I thought this motor was locked up, and actually, Patrick, do you want to hold this camera right here? You know, I cannot, I could not turn the motor by hand, and Patrick, you can, you attest to that. You saw me try. Motor did not turn by hand. And you hit the key. So this car will be running. I'm not, I'm not going to film that today. Well, that'll be a, a separate thing, but we're going to put this top down before we start cleaning it out. And these are just like the 71 to 76 GMs where the handles are on the side. So you just take those out. And you just have to fold it down. There we go. Look at that. And a can of Simon Eyes. <laughs> oh boy. Well, there was a can of Simon Eyes. Oh boy. Ready for a Sunday drive. We yeah, just, probably not gonna. If we can just get a couple snapped, yeah, I don't this even. This one's way too far off. It shrunk a lot. Oh, I don't. I don't care if it like doesn't snap properly. I just get it over okay. Part. I gotcha. Yeah. It's yeah. like an inch or two away because it's so shrunk. Yep. This might need to sit in the sun a little bit. Yeah, that's good like that though. Yep. Look at that. Good. Perfect. Yeah. So before we clean this thing here, got the top down. The top goes down. Price goes up. Someone for some reason took the back seat and just kind of threw it in there, but we'll get that put back the way it should be. Green with a tan interior, just not the most ideal color combination in the world. But man, it looks even better now with, uh, with the top down. Was it a green interior though? Oh, tan? door buzzer's working. <laughs> Love it. All right, let's get to cleaning. All right, everyone, well, on second thought here, I'm, uh, I'm going to leave this car unclean for right now in this video. I'm going to clean this car thoroughly and we'll do a will it run on this car uh, next week. So a little bit of a cliffhanger for everyone. Um, hope you guys did enjoy the video today of you know, these, the rescue of these two cars, cleaning that one out, taking this, the seat covers off that one and really just uh, seeing how well it would, it would come back to life. And it did, uh, motor stuck in that one, but we will be working on that one in the future here before too long. This car, I would love to clean it out. I'm gonna clean it out, but uh, just not in this video. So next, uh, next week, you guys will see a will it run on this car as well as a full cleaning and, uh, and detailing on the interior. And hopefully we'll be driving this car. So if you just enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up. Um, comment your favorite car, either the Pontiac or the Buick, and why. Why do you guys like it? Me personally, I just love this 5960 GM roof line, and those taillights just look awesome. But this Buick, something about it. Maybe it's the big taillights, maybe it's a convertible. Either way, I'm, I love this car too. So let me know what you guys think down below. And if you're brand new, make sure to subscribe as I'm always looking for old cars and rescuing stuff weekly. But thank you guys for watching. This is the video, the end of the video for today. My name is Ryan with Iowa Classic Cars, and I will catch you guys next time.